Hello everyone, it's Melanie from Living Luxuriously for Less, and today I'm going to do a video on how I plan a baby shower from beginning to end. Now the first thing that I've done is I've cleared out the room and I have set up the tables the way that I um, want them for the shower on tomorrow. So I did a mixture of rectangular and round tables, and I'm going to put the food in the front, which I don't have those tables set up yet, and I'm going to do the gifts and the dessert tables in the back. And so I'm gonna take you guys step by step with me. Um, while I'm putting a baby shower together, the first thing I do is create a work table and that's what you see in the back. Um, the shower is gonna be turquoise blue and pink um, mixed with Tiffany blue with silver accents. So I will show you guys the next step. I'm gonna go ahead and dress all the tables and set all of my play sets. Okay guys, here's a quick um, baby shower guest book that I'm going to put together. I picked up this spiral notebook from Hobby Lobby during my 90% off shopping hauls and it was 29 cents and I like the cover but it's just not, you know, congruent with the theme that I have for my sister-in-law's baby shower. So I have some remnant um, fabric here um, and the twine, the pink twine ribbon. And I printed off this little baby shower guest book card and some hot glue gun, my hot glue gun and my hot glue sticks. And I'm going to cover um, the book, the front of the book with the um, fabric. And then I'm going to trim it with some pink ribbon and hot glue it on and put this book, um, baby shower book label on the front. And so I will be right back to show you guys how that turns okay, out. Okay guys, and here is the completed baby shower book. And I really, you know, had to do this in a hurry. So I think it turned out okay, being that I only had literally minutes to put it together. Now here you see this bucket of baby shower memories. And instead of doing a bucket list for a baby, which is kind of morbid, I'm doing a, baby, a bucket of baby shower memories. And on the inside of this container, I have um, some cards, some note cards, and these note cards, see here, um, I'm going to ask all of the guests to write down just some things that Valerie can do with her new baby to create memories and, you know, things that they wish they had done, like, you know, certain types of pictures or events or you know, taking pictures with Santa or the Easter Bunny or whatever the case may be. Just different things that she could do with the new baby in order to make memories. And then we're going to put them all in this little bucket and she'll be able to look over these. So I thought that was a really cute little different game. And that's actually one of my favorite uh, popcorn containers from Garrett Popcorn. And I just kind of remade that to make it a bucket of baby shower, a, a bucket of, of memories, baby memories for the baby shower. Now this table setup is just the gifts that I'm going to give for the different games we're going to play today. We got uh, three different games that we're going to play and I'm going to share those with you in just a moment. Hey, it's game time. The first thing that I want to share with you is that I have an agenda and I always do it in any event that I'm doing baby shower, wedding shower, reception, whatever the case may be, I always put together an agenda so that it can flow easily. I normally like to take about two hours for a baby shower and that's from beginning to end. Now the first game we're going to play is called Kyla and that's the baby's name and it's Kyla Grace's box of birthday blessings and you can see I already have cards in there and I'm going to have the guests to write messages to her for her birthday. I think words are one of the greatest gifts that you can give anyone and so I'm going to ask the guests to speak blessings over the child's life for whatever year that they choose, ages one through 21, and each birthday she'll have a new card to open. So this is her box of birthday blessings from ages one through 21. So that'll be the first game. And then the second game, I'm gonna do a modern version of what's in your purse. I'm gonna do what's in your phone. And I have all little kind of neat things here and you'll total up the points just like the purse game. But this just makes it a little bit more fun and a little bit more relevant and up to date for the modern day women. And the third thing that I'm gonna do is baby shower bingo. Now this you see here, I don't have any chips or names on here because I let the guests fill in each blank 
with the gift that they think the mother to be is going to receive. And when she opens each gift, if it's on their list, they get to cross it out and they'll bingo like you regularly bingo. But this keeps the gift opening process both interesting for the participants and for the mother. So I hope you guys enjoyed these three little games that we're going to play. I don't like to do a whole lot of games, but I wanted to do some fun things and some things that were meaningful um, to the mother to be and to the baby. And you know, something that the um, attendants would like to participate in as well. What we have here is the, the gifts that I've shown you and kind of a backdrop that I had. Here are all my gifts to the mother-to-be. And I kind of kept it with the theme that I'm going with for this particular shower. I did a Tiffany blue, a turquoise, a light pink, and a dark pink. And um, I really, 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 uh, I'm excited about the way this turned out. So next, I'm going to show you guys my dessert table. Okay, here is my dessert table. I am so ecstatic about the way that it turned out. Here's the cake, I'm gonna give a close up. The cake is absolutely gorgeous. The young lady who made my cake is Rachel um, at Hot, Mommy, Hot Mama's Bakery here in Florence. She absolutely nailed this cake. And then here are my cookies. I thought these were beautiful as well, just keeping with the blue and the pink tablescape. And then here are some, you, you guys remember my cupcake stands from Hobby Lobby? Well, they came in handy here. And then the little pink bags um, just house some more gifts for the different games that we're going to be playing. Because with bingo, a lot of winners, um, you have a lot of winners with that game. So you want to make sure you have enough gifts. And then I have like a little miniature candy bar here. So I'm going to back up to kind of give you guys an overall view, my little blue chandelier. And so that is my dessert table. And next, I'm gonna give you guys a panoramic view of the room. Okay, so here is the way the baby shower turned out. And so for the centerpieces, I used balloons. I simply took a salt box and wrapped some um, tissue paper around the salt box and I punched a hole in the center and put this little wooden stick. You can find these at Hobby Lobby for like 38 cents. And then I wrapped the balloons around the top and so it gives a lot of height in the room. And then I bought those little flower pots. I turned those upside down and I bought those, this is a little bit crooked, but I bought these at Michael's for 39 cents on yesterday. And the little charger plates, I picked up at Michael's for 39 cents. The white plates that you see here are faux um, china. And I picked these up for big lots. I got a set of six in each pack, including the forks and spoon and knives for $2 a set. And uh, so here's the overall view of the table. I'm going to back up. And I just tied some ties around the chairs just to add a little bit more color to the room. And then here's the center table. This is where the guest uh, of honor uh, is going to be seated along with her family. So I'll show you guys this. And again, the charges came from Michael's for 39 cents. The glasses I picked up yesterday, um, I put these on my Facebook page. I told you guys I picked these up for 95 cents a piece. And so I thought that made a great, great, great addition to the table. And then here's our balloon centerpiece here. And it's really big. That's the ceiling, you guys, just to give you an idea. Now these ceilings are sort of low, but I just like to bring height in the room whenever you're doing um, any events. And so just wanted to give you guys an overview of the um, guest table. So they'll all be seated here. And then here are the other two tables. So I mixed the round and the rectangular tables together. And, um, you know, so you guys could see that. And then in the back is where I have, you know, my backdrop that I created using a tablecloth and two um, panels from Hobby Lobby. They're like five bucks. And then, um, so here you got, here's the overview of the table. Just going through slowly so you guys can see how everything looks all set up and I'll give it to you for a from a different angle. And this is just like I said, using two different tones of pink and the blue and the Tiffany blue. So I hope you guys enjoyed the decorations. I'm gonna do a couple of still shots so you can see it all. And um, I'm gonna show you the food setup. We're not complete with it, but it's you know complete enough for you guys to see. So I hope you're enjoying this thus far. So here's the food set up, and I did another balloon centerpiece there. And then I just kind of have all the fruits and vegetables and 
Um, a lot of people bring in food and so they won't be here for a while. I need to kind of get the wrinkles out of that tablecloth. I see those there, but um, I was hoping it would fall out, but it didn't. But anyway, so here's the setup for the food and we're gonna have more stuff added. But just to give you guys an overview of what the food table looked like, it's lots of food. We're having like the traditional baby shower um, finger foods. And so just wanted to give you guys that overview. So until um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and the different steps that I take in putting a baby shower together. Um, a baby shower of this magnitude would probably cost around $300 for you to put together. I already had a lot of the things that you see here and you know, you've know you seen me do them in my little bargain videos and things of that nature. But if you have any questions at all, I hate I couldn't do a lot of step by step, but I work full time and so putting this together, you know, I was racing against the clock just to get it completed by the time of the baby shower. So if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. And I hope you guys enjoyed this. And until next time, it's Melanie with Living Luxuriously for Less. Bye-bye.